Okay. So now we're going to work on actually creating that um, cursor effect basically now. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to open up something called Spleen right here. As you can see, I was already working on something beforehand, but I will show you exactly how we do it from scratch, right? So we want to create this follow effect of the cursor. Okay. So here's where we're going to start. We're going to start by creating an eclipse quickly here. Okay. So we've got the eclipse. You want to see it a bit better, make it white, hide the material because we're not doing anything particularly 3D, right? So now what we've done is we've created the eclipse here. You can use your cursor as a measurement as to how big the circle is going to be and how big it's going to be or not be. Um, so basically this is kind of the size I'm comfortable with, right? So what we want to do after this, we want to go up here and we want to create something called an event, right? And we want to create something called a follow event right here so it must be aligned with the camera and the follow so I'm going to show you exactly what this does right here so it creates this effect where your mouse moves and the circle moves with it which is super cool right adds a little bit of flair to your website and it's a lot of fun to play around with right but let's not, let's not stop there right so what we're gonna do is there's another thing here called state so you want to create a state where basically the base state is the white and the second state would be, for example, if we add another event, um, for example, let's say mouse press and on mouse press, we need this thing to transition, right? The ellipse needs to transition from the current state to from the base state to the secondary state, right? That's what we want it to do. So what we'll do is we'll go out again, we'll come to state and we'll change the value here in state. Let's go for like a, like a turquoise like that, right? And let's see how that works, okay? Let's click this, let's go back to our base state. So our base state will be the white and this is the second state, right? Let's see how it works. So we got it moving around and on mouse press. This is a glitch in the thing here, so don't mind that. Now let's figure out why it's actually not doing what it's supposed to do. Let's say mouse down. I think I'm the one who needs the mistake, right? Let's play here and you click mouse down, color changes, right? And we're back to the second state that we wanted in the first place. We click off. Cool. So now how do we take this and bring it into Figma? It's very easy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to export and we're going to go to public URL. Now, what we're gonna do here is very simple. You're literally gonna just gonna click the copy embed, right? And you're gonna go back to your Figma and you're gonna have this initial rectangle here, right? Which is whatever your section, whatever for me is the section on the current landing page that's here, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna go and you wanna create another rectangle on top of that section, right? And then you want to click Control P and then search for Anima. I've already searched for it, and basically you open that up. Let that load for a little bit. Cool. So now we've got Anima open. It gets super easy from here. So that embed code we've gotten from the previous website, we're just gonna take here, and we're gonna paste it here, and we're gonna save it, right? And to get rid of this background here, what we want to do is let's just go to zero percent. And if you want that effect, a lot of cursors have they have this effect where almost if it will go over a text or an image, it'll kind of do like the inverse of the color of the thing that it's actually on. So this is very simple. We just go over here. We say inclusion or difference, kind of give you the same results, right? Cool. And then once we've done that, we just say preview. Let it load, it loads up right into your Figma, and there you go. We've got that dope effect going over your thing. You know, we've got the mouse follow, you know what I mean? It's super cool. And we've even got the color change in there. You see, if you click, the color changes and everything. So, this is essentially how I would go about doing like a very simple um, cursor, cursor effect for your, for your designs or for your website. This is meaning to add something a lot more fun. Um, future videos will probably go into more functional ones that I will help, you know, users draw attention to certain information. This one is purely for fun and purely for enjoyment. I hope you guys found it helpful. Cheers.